Hey guys, this is uh, Cornetis with um, Plug Together Computer Repair Cisco Routing and Network. And uh, today I'm going to show you about um, something about what a hard drive looks like from the inside. Um, I guess most of you know what it looks like from the outside. Here we have an, uh, a Western Digital 50 gig, and this is the, the back. Um, what I did today here is um, I opened it, opened the drive itself, and um, if you open the drive, you can see uh, what's in there and what makes your data appear in your computer. Uh, in, inside the hard drive, we have two uh, two physical disks that depend on the type of hard drives. And um, I took one out already. This is one, and it looks a bit like an like a CD. In fa um, however, it's not a CD. It's it's much much thicker. And see if I take it on that metal here, like a tinkling noise. Okay. Um, so we're going to talk a, lot, a, bit, a little bit about uh, mecha mechanical defects that's causing uh, hard drive hard drives to go bad. Uh, sometimes we have. Um, scratches here in the platter and I don't care damage it I'm not damaging it anyway and what makes this 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 head and a tick and that's a ticking noise so whatever whenever you hear a hard drive tick it's usually the end of story and then you have to bring it to um, advanced data recovery and that's just uh, what this is about okay well yeah um, it's usually easy to recover data from a drive that works by just uh, hanging out to a different system using these SATA connections but if that doesn't do the trick then um, this is what we are um, gonna do okay um, there's a lot more to tell about the process of advanced data recovery which I'm not going to cover in this video um, there's a lot to it it's not just a matter of um, taking these these disks out um, you have to uh, fiddle around with a lot of different different things. Okay, we have this um, this chipboard here, which which is located on the other side. Okay, and um, sometimes what we do is we swap we swap, swap out these boards, replace it with different ones. Um, it's um, it looks more simple than it really is, and that's why advanced data recovery is is usually uh, quite pricey. Okay, I hope this has been informative for you and I'll see you next time.